Hello guys and girls, this is part two of a two-part series in the finding of derivatives, understanding of the difference, quotient, and extrema of functions. Sound confusing with all the math jargon? Trust me, it'll get a lot clearer, this video. Okay, so, last video we talked about the difference quotient. Now we are going to talk about derivatives and extrema. That last formula I gave you as the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h is called the derivative of a function. Derivative of a function is represented multiple ways. dy dx, f prime of x, and um, y prime of x. It's probably the only ways I've ever seen it written. So if if you have a function f of x or y, the derivative is written like this. What is the derivative of a function? The derivative of a function is another function that gives the slope of a tangent line, um, gives the slope of the tangent line to the original function. I, I know it sounds confusing, but let's say we have um, a function f of x equals 3x squared. The derivative, which I'll tell you how to find the derivative of this function, but I'll just give it to you for now. I'll tell you the rule for finding the derivative of these kinds of functions is 6x. That means at any x point, let's say we want to find the slope of the tangent line for this function at 2. That means we plug in 2 into the derivative and we get 12. 6 times 2. 12. That means the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2 of f of x is equal to 12. Alright? I think we got that out of the way. I'm not going to get into the whole deriving this rule, but it'll really help you out. Because, I mean, you don't really want to derive it every single time you do a problem. It's a lot easier to memorize than using the difference quotient. For any polynomial function, f of x equals x to some power n, the derivative f prime of x is equal to n x to the n minus 1 power. This will come so much in handy. So much, I swear. You will. It is lovely. Okay. That brings me to my next point. Deri uh, extrema. My next point is extrema. Extrema are maxima and minima. If we have some graph, like this general curvy thing, it's called a graph. I don't know how to represent that through an equation. The extrema, or what we like to call the critical points, are points on f of x at which the slope of the tangent line is zero. And we know that slope is represented through the letter m for some obscure reason. Couldn't just call it s. Because some guys just had to torture us, didn't they? Okay, so take note of this. Maxima and minima, or or, or no, extra, sorry, because don't want to have too many terms at once. Extrema are points on f of x where the slope of the tangent line is zero. Maxima, well, subscription alert to Norton. Gotta hate Norton antivirus. Stupid. Interrupting my videos and such. Anyways, a minima occurs at the bottom of a hump, and the maxima occurs at the top of a hump, if you know what I mean, like this. Like, you know, see how it's curving upward? Any point to the left or right of the function is decreasing. And on a minima, any point to the left or right of the function is increasing. So, um, yeah, that's extra minima. To find these uh, points, to find these two points, you take, you set f prime of x to zero. And that should give you those points. So take note of that. The points of extrema, the x values, are equivalent to the derivative of the function equal to zero, called the critical points. So, 
here is where we get into curve analysis. Now, you'll notice something. You know that formula, n to the x to the n minus 1? You may have learned that, uh, I'm not sure, but in your Algebra 2 class, you might have learned that any curve that has degree n will have n minus 1 uh, curve, like humps, you know what I'm saying, like, like a camel. So this is the degree, degree, and this is the number of humps. Okay? So why is this? Why? Because if we have a function of degree 3, let's say we have f of x equals x cubed, the derivative f prime of x is going to equal 3x squared. This is a degree of 2. So there's going to be two solutions to the derivative, meaning there's two points where the slope is 0 at the tangent lines, meaning two humps. God, I love math. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, this is derivatives and extra If there, there are a lot more rules about differentiation. Uh, I'm not going to get into them. My next video, uh, you can check out Patrick Jams here, Math Mikey, like the last video said. Uh, I'm going to get into Taylor series and McLaurin series next, uh, probably tomorrow. I don't know. Not really in the mood right now. I'm kind of tired, but... Um, yeah, uh, if you guys want any type of math done or anything else, you can just send me a message through YouTube. Uh, I'm Mr. Remon Calculator. I'm teaching you math because I feel like it for some reason. Good night, everybody.